Hi everyone, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. Today we're going to be looking at using several more of the text functions that are available to us in Excel to manipulate, to tidy up text. What I've got here is a list of these guys, their full names. This is everyone who works for Optimum Technology Transfer. Uh, what I would like to do is I'd like to see here in this column list of just their first names. So having been given the full names, I want to kind of break down the full names into first names and surnames. Today we'll look at, in this video, we'll look at extracting the first names. In a future video of mine, we'll look at extracting the surnames. Do, uh, do look out for that particular video. Where are the first names? Well, the first names are on the left of the cell. So what I'm going to do is start by using the left function. Again, one of the classic text functions available to us in Excel. I'm going to specify two arguments here. The piece of text that I would like to extract a certain number of characters from the left of the cell, then a comma separator. I need to tell Excel exactly how many characters I want to extract from the left of cell A2. A little bit difficult. The problem is, of course, that uh, Mark has four, Sam has three characters, Elizabeth has nine characters, Jody has five, Simone has six, and so on. So clearly the lengths of the first names do vary Something that I can, however, pick up on is the fact that each of these guys have a space. There's a space between the first name and the surname. So I'm going to use the find function in Excel to get Excel to tell me exactly where the space is. So what is it I want to find? Well, I want to find a space. It's quote, space, unquote. A comma. Where do I want to find that space? Well, it's in cell A2 then close up my brackets. Now the problem is that that's going to give me one too many. So five for Mark, four for Sam, ten for Elizabeth. So I'm simply going to minus one on the end there. Close off my brackets, press my return key or enter the key, back up to Mark in cell B2, double click the fill handle to copy it down through the rest of these guys. Mark at the top, Tanya down at the bottom of our list there. Still looks a little bit untidy. So this is where the proper function comes in. Again, one of the functions that we had a look at uh, on a previous video tutorial of mine. So I'm just going to pop a proper in there, close up my brackets, return or enter, back up to mark in proper case, double click the fill handle, much neater, much, much tidier of course now. Let's have a look at that one more time in a little bit more detail. Let me just F2 on cell B2. There's the formula. The new parts today are the left and the find. Yeah, so I'm using the left function to extract the first names from each of these full names. So the left function has the find function embedded inside it or nested inside it. What is the find function doing? Well, I'm asking the find function where the space is. Find the space in A2. Tell me where it is. As I mentioned, that kind of minus one factor to, uh, to reduce, to kind of trim off that space. The final little bit of tidying up is the proper function just to get me some nice neat tidy case yeah so proper left and find a mixture of three different text or string functions to get the final result i require 